Hey Smashers, welcome to the Daily Smash for Monday, October 2nd, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. In the hot tub at Pickleball Party Town. Just had a great afternoon barbecue with a bunch of friends. It was awesome. Are you going to show them? The weather is perfect. I have a video coming up that will show The weather show them. is 75 degrees here. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like the sandstorms might be easing at this point. Yeah. Although I spent like two hours hosing off the deck this and morning. And I spent two hours chopping vegetables. <laughs> yeah, you made some great dishes. Yeah, didn't I? It was, food was fantastic. I felt bad throwing it away. I did give a lot away to help. Yeah, we have some uh, highlights of our barbecue coming up. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. We don't do every show in the hot tub or the pool. This is just, uh, we're here for one more day and we wanted to enjoy it try this out um, but uh, we'd love for you to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll know every that time thumbs we up please do that um, um, our car looks like it's beat down <laughs> <laughs> look like I got in a car accident oh, yeah <laughs> looks like Shannon Bedore's car lost a little uh, <laughs> lost a little juice on the on the did you just say it looks like <laughs> Wow uh, this, it was a joke this show is brought to you by Ilya wine you want to show them some Ilya wine Got the Roble I'll bag. show you the real thing right here. Yes, Chardonnay. Cheers, baby. My glass is a little beat up. I know. Well, they're plastic, so we have to have plastic outside. Mm -hmm. I don't want glass because if glass gets in the pool, we are SOL. No I glass. I need to get you the, the good one, but listen to this. No glass outside. You guys want to know how good this is? Yes. Here we go. Clinky, clinky. A drinky, drinky. Mm. Mm. Ilya wine is available at ilya.com. All you have to do is order it online and use the discount code Rick and Kelly 20 for 20% off your first two bottles. And if you buy three bottles, you'll get free shipping. Three or more. I mean, if I were you, I'd buy a case and get some because it'll be delivered right to your door. It's fantastic wine. I mean, why go shopping for wine? Well, when you, you guys are all it? smart. You guys are all watching us. So, you, right. you know, you know, you the more you buy in bulk, the cheaper it is. And it's delicious. Uh, what else? Oh, the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. Wait, by the way. Yes. This thing has 14.14% 14 .14 alcohol. That's good. That's a lot. <laughs> All you need is this much. One one glass. And then you can like savor it. Like we don't drink it all. We have a glass of red wine. Uh, Charles Krug lived to be like 110 or something like that. Drinking red oh, wine? Drinking his red wine. It's yep. got Rosevatrol in it. It's very good for you. Cool. It bites uh, cancer. It does. Uh, the Rick and Kelly show this week, we're going to have not one, not two, but three new Cooking with Kelly segments. Also, highlights from the Foreigner concert I went to Saturday night. I'm actually going to you know, like play like a mini concert. You'll see Foreigner almost live through my eyes from the seventh row. It was a really it was a good show. What else we got? Uh, oh, some gossip about Gina Kirschenheider and another former housewife that we're going to tell going to talk about on our Patreon this week. Just go to patreon.com, search The Rick and Kelly Show. It's longer, unfiltered, uncensored, and commercial free, and it's awesome. Look how cute this bathing suit is in the back. Do you know who makes it? No, I got it from everything but water. That's right a, down the street on El Paseo. The sexy suit. It's so cute. I feel like fat, because I've been drinking for two, like, feels like I've been drinking I feel two fat, weeks. because we haven't worked out. No, we've been here. And like, I cook at home a lot. We've been eating out. Eating out is not a recipe to be thin. No. But we did cook or, today. Or drinking a lot. Is that right. the recipe? So we're going we're gonna to go back to Newport Beach tomorrow, or today, and get back into our routine. Going to the gym. I can't wait. Taking long walks. I know. Bike riding. For I sure. I mean, we live a healthy, healthy lifestyle in Newport. I mean, here it's like vacation every single day. Yeah. And it's like every night's Friday night. It's really fun here. You guys it should come. If you, if you ever have a chance to come to Palm Desert, you should. You should come and you should stay here at Pickleball Party Town. I'm yeah. telling you, we live right two blocks from El Paseo. You can walk all the shopping, all the restaurants. It is fabulous. It's actually available uh, April and May of 2024, but only by the month. You can go to picklepartyhouse.com. Look at that boat and <laughs> the car. It looks like it. <laughs> You're right. I mean, it's, it looks like a beatdown on that it looks thing. Looks like someone went into someone's house. It's a cool car. It's just, oh, I can't reach it from here. Um, That's from Fun Boy. Uh, they didn't give it to us. No, they didn't. 
so what maybe they should. Oh, we, our, our barbecue today, our pool party and our barbecue here, uh, uh, Tommy Gambino grilled and his wife Julianne came and Hope Radar, a bunch of their friends, and Steve and Jack were here. Well, it was sad because Ira, her husband owns Moon Shadows in uh, Malibu. If anyone knows Malibu, California, the biggest restaurant is Moon Shadows. We went there. We were with her and her husband and her son a year ago. It was it two years ago, maybe? A year ago. And at this time, and I guess two months later, her son and her husband got killed in an accident. We spoke about this before. Yeah. And rear ended. Rear ended. The, and a classic Mustang, and it blew up. And it blew up in flames. And uh, Ira was here. And it is so sad. Like, it is so sad. You guys. You don't know if you go to your family or well, maybe your they kids. Do. Maybe you have lost someone in an instant like that. Maybe some of our smashers You're, have been through it. It would be like if Rick and Julie were to die. It would be the most horrific thing in my life. I don't even know how you can go on. I mean, you have to. Yeah. Um, but she came here. It was, I didn't even know what, what to say or what to do. I think you guys could all understand it was the most horrific thing that's ever happened and yeah a year ago and so she's at my house she's like i don't want to be left alone it is so sad yeah well um i'm glad that she came uh you know she we, we talked she, she we ate like, we, we had the best meal yeah i think the days i prepared like this, it for a long long time you did so you got, oh i had some highlights well, some well, video highlights. Wait, well real quick yeah so Rick went to the Foreigner concert last night. I'm like, I just want to be left alone for like a minute. Like I want to chop vegetables. I want to talk on the phone. Uh -huh. I want to just talk on the phone and like, you know, talk to my friends. So as soon as Rick left, I jumped in the cart. I went to Trader, uh, Joe's. Trader Joe's. I ran over um, a cart. I didn't even see it. I heard a boom. And then the guy goes, I could, it was some so up high, right? It's like a monster truck. Anyway, I bought some food, started chopping. Erin, our Patreon, calls me because she's the one that's, her and G3, are, or George, are the ones who are like doing all of our uh, stuff for Detroit. And so I got on the phone. She's so beautiful. She was a newscaster. And she reminds me so much of my friend. Anyway, Rick went and I, I talked to her. And she goes, can you text me? Like, look at this. I text her, she goes, you have 593 unread messages. I go, yeah. I go, as a matter of fact, you can't leave messages or text messages. You know, when people call and they're like, for the best, the biggest response or the best response, text me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't do either one of those It's things. so funny. I mean, 593 unread You can see messages. I don't have OCD. And, and how many unread, unheard phone messages? Hundreds of those too, right? Oh, it's crazy. Unheard? Like, how do you find that out? Well, it's in your no voicemails. In your phone, yeah. How many voicemails? That's what I meant. Oh, voicemails. I have. Uh, well, because I cleared it all out. I have sixty-nine. Okay. Sixty-nine, and for a faster response, <laughs> you're not getting it. It's five hundred and sixty. Damn. Uh, so you can't get a hold of me. But just it's, it's very rare. People are like, well, I DM'd you. Well, I don't yeah. read those either. Yeah, Just an are, FYI, if you get a if you get a, a one little response from me, you're fucking lucky. Okay, oh, <laughs> like, sorry, I no, wanna, you're lucky. I want to jump in here. First of all, she didn't run over the cart; she just bumped into a cart, and it did leave some little red marks on the back. Um, some skid panel, marks. But I think we can get buff those out. Uh, and if it's okay, I'm gonna now go to the highlights. Oh yeah. From our barbecue. Oh no, it's okay now. Our barbecue, <laughs> because I didn't want you to forget. Yeah, thank I, you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and everyone that watches they know. understands yeah. what I'm coming from. Okay, so here are some highlights from our barbecue today. Uh, oh yeah. And then while they were here, um, I think it was you said, why don't you fire up that slinger? Yeah. And let, let's hit some pickleballs. Don't be too far out of the frame. People want to see how pretty oh. you are. There you are. Hi. Yeah. 
Oh, so Moving comfortable here. on this stool. <laughs> I'm on this stool right now. A little step. Ooh, so good. Um, so we fired up the slinger and we're just like taking some practice shots and it's uh that car is like christine it's like staring at us right now <laughs> uh here's some video of that i love that slinger i gotta do it more i gotta get better at pickleball we yeah. both do we gotta start playing more often. i do i will yeah but our our paddles are paddles pretty are awesome they're they're they're, they're heavy the, the ones that we made for this court they're heavy but you know what? It's, it's just a good a, workout. You get yeah. muscles. It's an adjustment, but it, I think it will help our game overall. You know, yeah. And we did some DIY projects yesterday. We The last few days, we were knocking it out. Friday, Saturday, Sunday My mom morning. goes, what have you been doing? I'm like, I have been working my butt off. Yeah. Not only working outside, but cooking, cleaning, mm -hmm. like everything, shopping, yeah. like a lot. I've been uh, painting and scraping and building and assembling and watering, a lot of watering of the ficus. Monday morning, which is luck, is our final inspection here for our pickleball court permit. You know what's shocking to me? What? The city of Palm Desert makes us do a whole fence around the pickleball. Yeah. No fence around the pool. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I don't understand this. And by the way, why are you worried about my backyard with the ficus? Worry about the like looking in some of these front yards up yeah. and down the block yeah. that could these, use a little work. These, these and that that architect right there, that Jeffrey, whatever his name is, uh -huh. what's his name? I don't know. Jeff don't, Jeffries. I, just, just, yeah. I don't want to talk about that guy. No, no, no. He's he's an architect. Why don't you have a beautiful house? My mom goes, that house is the biggest piece of crap, but he's concerned about what my backyard looks like. Worry about your front yard and your house. Don't worry about your house. Don't worry about my house. Well, he's worried about the noise, but that's not an issue. Well, then move to Palm Springs. Yeah. You can't play music outside in Palm Springs. Yeah, you, know you can't that? do anything in Palm You're Springs. You're not allowed to play any music outside in Palm Springs. Look it up, it's true. Uh, I want to tell the story at Home Depot. Oh, yeah. We went to Home Depot. I think it was Friday night. We didn't go out because we'd gone out every night. I didn't go out that. Friday or Saturday night. But we went to Home Depot and we're checking out. We go to check out. And of course, there's only like one lane open with a cashier. Everything else is self serve. And there's this lady sitting on a stool at the self serve oh, yeah. area. Sitting. We're exhausted. We worked our butts off, okay? Yeah. It was late. It was what, seven? Yeah. She's sitting. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. On a stool, just sitting there working, making money. And I'm over here like trying to figure out how to scan things and, and like I'm doing it myself. And I'm okay. like, putting when it in I the was, bag. When I was 15 years old, I worked at a grocery store called Smitty's in Arizona. If any of you from Arizona, you guys know what Smitty's are. I went through training. I learned how to bag groceries. <laughs> I did these things for the grocery store. Sure. I worked at drug fair. I, I stocked the shelves. I helped customers. I worked the cash register. There was no self serve. Yeah. So this lady is sitting there watching us and commenting on like what we're doing. So I started saying stuff like, uh, how was your shopping experience, ma'am? Did we're, you we're, find we're everything you need? <laughs> like I'm pretending like I worked there because I'm scanning the things and she's standing there with her and she starts answering me. And I'm like, you sure are an attractive customer here. And at I'm Home like, Depot. yeah, I'm pretty hot. And we're having this whole conversation. The lady's just sitting there listening to us. and I, She's just sitting on the stool, like sitting there. And even when I had a couple issues where I was like trying to figure out how something worked or whatever, she didn't move a muscle. And at one point, Kelly just looks at me and goes, what's wrong with this picture? Like she's sitting there working, making money. And you and I are spending money and we're working. We're the ones actually working. But we didn't know what to like, to, what to scan or how to scan it or like what to do. I'm like, I go, I go, what is wrong with this picture right here? She's sitting on her ass watching us uh -huh. and like, la like laughing at us <laughs> instead of saying, how can I help you? Can I help you bag? Yeah. What do you need scanned? Yeah. What are you doing? Right. I'm like, you know what? Why don't we do like everybody else's? Why don't we just scan two things and call it a day? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should have done. 
We should have scanned one thing and just taken everything yeah, out. Yeah, I'm working myself. This is, you know what? I I'm got not endorsing that behavior. Well, but, everyone else is doing it. There's no law enforcement well, happening. If you if you stop having employees checking people out, you better believe their bottom line, their, their sales are going to go down because their, people are going to start taking stuff. It's just, that's going to happen. How can they think in their right minds that that that, that, that if you do it yourself, they're uh, making money? They actually think that it's, it's to their benefit to have fewer employees, even though people might steal more stuff. Like... Maybe that does, the formula does work. I don't know, but it's I, I, we see a lot of retail stores closing now because of theft. A lot of Target just shut down nine stores. I Target. feel like we are like not even in Mexico do they steal. I have some comments I wanted in to in a read. third world country. Uh, comments. <laughs> someone said you two are the new Suzanne Summers and Alan Hamill. On Is our zip Rocky today, Gerber? someone said that we that we're like Regis and. Um, and Kathy Lee. And Kathy Lee. Oh. Uh, David True, congratulations to the contest winner. I think to receive daily smash swag, coffee mugs, t shirts, or hats, Kelly and Rick should do Housewives trivia and daily smash weekly video questions. That's actually a really good idea. Great way to gain viewers and subscribers to win smash swag. Win win for everyone. Let's do that. Let's do it. We're working on our smash swag. One of Thank our patrons. Thank you, David. Thank you. Uh, Bruno. Any, any, any things that you guys can tell us how to make things better? Yeah. The better it is for us. We are a, a one-man show. Yeah, we we got our hands full over here. We have a, we're on a one-man show over I here. I just lost my notes. Here we go. I thought that was funny. <laughs> a one-man show? You're, well, it's a one-man show. Uh, Rick does <laughs> yeah. everything. It's true. He does. You do, what do you mean? You're 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 the gem. You're you're the the diamond in the rough over here. I need somebody to do something for me. Something else. I need help. Yeah. No. Uh, Joan F. I watched Rick on Newsmax. You two are more professional than most of their. You are more professional than most of their regulars. They need to give you your own show. Thanks. But next time, have the background more plain without the kitchen and wear a dress shirt. I agree. <laughs> I told him that. You told me that. I told him that, and so I circled it. Yeah. Wait, I want to see. I want to show them. I did this because I'm on your side, Joan. Yes. Joan F., you are awesome. Thank you for saying that. And I will. I listen. I, I'm, 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 I pay attention. Thank and, you, um, Joan F. I'm going to do it. Um, I read the comments. This, Rick doesn't. No, I read comments, but I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, a lot of times, Rico, that's your job. Well, no, it is my job. Yes, but I do read them and I yeah. respond to some of them. But I'm, I'm the I'm one that very busy. If someone's I, on my side, that's the ones I read and I forward to him <laughs> because you're you're on my page. Faith like Jonah four four four. They make a stick on glare free cover for the glare on your TV. Congrats to the winner. Happy weekend to Yaz. Faith, uh, thanks. We Faith. need a a stick on glare sheet for that TV. I want um, privacy tint, like when you go to jail. Oh, for the and, front windows. Yeah, for the front windows. And so we did that wallpaper in the West Hampton house. I'm like, if we could do that. We can do that. We can do that. The, what do you call it? The film. You put the film on the glass and we watched a YouTube video and man, it looked hard. It, it looked like they tried to make it look easy, but man, there were a lot of steps. And I'm like, I'm not they're sure. Like, they're like, you have to wash with soap and water, then some kind of spray. Then wipe you have to down. get a microfiber uh, cloth. Yeah. And wipe the uh, off. Then you got to spray it again. Then you have to spray you again. Squeeze it. And then you have to lay it on. Well, first, and then, you, first and you have then to then do you, the corners real good. You got to make sure you get the corners real good. And then you have to go like this. I'm like, maybe we should just paint. No, then you got to pre-cut it to a certain size, and then you got to wet it and wet the window again. You miss some steps. Whoa. It's like crazy. I, I miss don't know. every step. I mean, I'm just like, let's just get to the end. Just pay somebody to do it. How can I? <laughs> if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> Dog Days 252. Man, I wish it was still pool season here in North Carolina. Love watching you guys. Caught Rick on Newsmax. Rick, can you believe Fox and those questions from that GOP debate? Glad I stopped watching them. Glad you're on Newsmax now. You need your own show. Love you too, Kelly. Yeah. Oh, he needs his own show? Yeah, Everyone well, loves Rick. Maybe, uh, honey, I'm they kidding. love you too. It's okay. Um, Heather Wilborn. Hi, Rick and Kelly. I love watching you both. I'm a longtime Kelly fan. I recently turned my sister on to your channel. She suffers from depression. 
She loves Kelly, and she was laughing so hard one, watching one of the recap episodes. It was amazing to hear her laughing. Thank you for your unfiltered opinions and comical take on things. Keep making people laugh. We need you guys right now in this crazy world. Have a beautiful day, and God bless. Dude, you're so lucky that you have a depressed sister. You just turn her on to me, and I can make her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that we're making you guys laugh at least yeah. at least a couple times because you know why you know why because her sister who's depressed sees how much of a loser i am and she's like this is funny <laughs> so i'm gonna make you her are not laugh. a loser v i visage couple goals you two are effing amazing rick is so sweet to kelly love um, I have to say, I yeah. wasn't happy about the tomato versus fruit th uh, rundown that oh. he did. Oh. And somebody else did it. And I was like. Oh. What, what weren't you happy about? On our Patreon. I know, but. I just thought it was like a dumb rundown. I mean, you thought it was funny to yourself. No. We we had a whole conversation yeah, about but it the other it was, night. And we talked about doing it on the show and you didn't say no don't do that you didn't yes, say yes i did i was like this is stupid say, not at the time uh, i mean you knew the answer yeah you knew the answer right away yeah that's why i think it's stupid because <laughs> if i know the answer is obviously like, yeah but i'm a smart you know, guy and i wasn't sure i didn't know. i was i know it's not funny that i know some things that you don't <laughs> i feel like i look weird with, like sometimes when my posing like right? like that looks weird does it look weird? I'm not like flexing, like just like my shoulders. Triceps, baby, look at that. Uh, <laughs> I have it in the news. It, it, it's somewhat, it is political. We're gonna get dark. But it mixes gossip with politics. And I'm just quoting the New York Post here, okay? Senator Meghan Markle, question mark? Shut up. Cause you know, Dianne Feinstein died. So speculation is mounting on the, whether the Duchess of Sussex might try to replace her in the Senate. Because Gavin Newsom can basically appoint whoever he wants to fill that seat. And so her Gavin name, Newsom is the biggest loser. Do you see how effed up California is? Why in anyone's right mind would they want to vote for this imbecile? <laughs> well, and let alone a president. Okay, if you think uh, Mr. Dementia is bad, yeah. This guy's worse. Like this guy is hot, a little fruity at times, hot. Yeah. But this guy is oh, this not this guy's just as bad as uh, Biden. You think? Yeah. Okay. Can I get to the rest of the yes. story? Yes. Um, the Daily Mail reports that within minutes of Diane Feinstein's passing, is it Feinstein or Feinstein? I don't know. You're the Jew. Yeah, but you, you're a California resident a lot longer than me. I would say Feinstein. Okay, Feinstein. But I don't know how you say it. And Within minutes of her passing, phones lit up with speculation that Markle might look to be appointed to fill the seat. Why don't she's, we just have a monkey? Isn't she Canadian? No, she's from California. She's from, like, the she West is? Side. I thought yes. she was Canadian. Oh, she was in Canada shooting that Suits. Yeah, she's but I, Californian. So I thought she was Canadian. She's, like... She's like from California. Oh yeah. Okay. She doesn't have like she's not she sounds bright, I guess. They're saying she's a long shot, but in the craziness that is you at US politics these days, it's not an impossibility. Crazier things have happened. Why don't we just go get a chimpanzee <laughs> and put him on the seat and let them <laughs> dictate to us? Well, based on the performance of some of these uh, knuckleheads in the, in the I Senate. want somebody who has ran a business Knows P and L's, uh -huh. knows uh, profit and losses. Yeah. Uh, I know. I want. I it's want hot people. In this hot tub. I want people to yeah. know yeah, how yeah. to run a country and a business. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Not some political. I want people hey, to, to, no to do. No more politics. We say politics for. No, uh, I want people to do right for us, well, for the working agreed. people that pay taxes. Uh huh. Middle America, no one looks out for those people. No one. Okay, but we're not doing any more rants on politics here on the Smash. This is a lighter, more fun, not more fun, a lighter edition of our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. Okay. We try to save the politics for, for Patreon. Patreon. Okay. Yeah. And the so good if you're gossip. Like, if you're like-minded and you like gossip, 
Go on a Patreon. <laughs> I'm telling you this. Because we get censored here and we get demonetized last, on YouTube. This last episode, the 110th episode, and you get access to all of them when you subscribe on Patreon. Our 100, 110th episode, I think, was one of our best. I just, I, I mean, it's an honest discussion. Kelly went deep on um, her Real Housewives experience and a lot of other stuff. I mean, I just think it was a really great conversation and some really good topics and some cool videos and I, I, I encourage you guys to sign up if you haven't already and join us on Patreon. Yeah, thank um, you. Have a smash-tastic day everybody. Bye. Bye my smashers. Oh wait, wait, I just want to stop real quick. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of heat on, uh, wait real quick, I got a lot of heat for saying something about Jen. Uh, Jen is my age and she wants to get divorced and she couldn't afford $5,000 for an attorney. Why in the world? Okay, I, I, I don't, okay, this, I don't understand why people want to watch. All of us are struggling. I don't wanna watch people that are struggling. All my friends are struggling. Everyone's struggling. I don't want to watch TV where people are struggling. That's why I like New York Housewives, the reboot. Yeah. Because they're hustling. They're doing things. They're working. They're on top of their they're game. They're on top of their game. Uh -huh. I like to watch that. I want to be inspired. I want to do that. I want to be that. That's what makes me like, I don't want to watch some broke ass chick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. Do you? You, you always say it's aspirational. It's, the show is supposed to be aspirational. Well, it's, I, I just, if you can't afford $5,000, for an attorney, I don't want to watch you. I don't want want to watch Gina. I don't want to watch that. Like okay. I don't. Well, we're only okay. going to watch it for the. You we know. we have enough of that around us. Everyone is like that around us. I want to watch something that I want to be aspired by. I, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. If we didn't get paid to do it, if we weren't recapping these episodes, I wouldn't watch it. Zero interest in watching it. Well, without like, you oh, on it, and they're like, I watch you, Rachel. You could tell, and on your thing about uh, uh, that, that they're close. Like, wait, why would you be upset that I said? And I'm not talking about that. I don't. I, all my friends are broke. Okay, I don't want to watch it on TV and sit there. <laughs> like, that's boring to me. Like, why would I want to watch that? Well, thank you for clearing that up. I think we got a call today, though. Yeah, it's 27 minutes. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed Kelly's rant. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye.